How's it going, guys? Jonathan Levy here from becomeasuperlearner.com, and I'm with my very good friend. Anthony Metivier from magneticmemorymethod.com. And as you guys can tell, we are in the old city of Jerusalem, Jerusalem. the holy site of all three major Abrahamic religions, Judaism and Islam and Christianity. And you can see behind us is the Wailing Wall. And we've been walking around today, two memory and learning experts, and we've been talking about you know, you have you ever had this experience, does it sound like you guys, you go to these sites, you know, you pay a tour guide or whatever it is, and you want to learn, you're, you're curious about the history, about the culture, about everything, but there's so much, you realize how deep history it is, I mean, just like today, things are happening every single day, every day there's history being made, and you want to remember it, you know, it's such a shame to fly across the world to a place as beautiful, with as rich of a history as this, and not remember, so Anthony and I have been talking about this idea of how do you remember historical dates and events uh, in a way that is fun, engaging, doesn't just detract from the experience. I mean, you don't want to have your head in your notebook all day or typing on your phone. Uh, so you want to be present and in the moment and learn this stuff. And really what it ultimately comes down to, and I think to Anthony's credit he was mentioning, it comes down to creating a memory palace out of the place that you happen to be in. So walking along here, the Western Wall, and creating stations as you walk along, right? And you can turn that wall stations. into a timeline, an actual timeline of events. So we happen to know, although I'll admit we had to look it up on Wikipedia, that this wall, they started to build in 19 BCE, before current era, and it was King Herod's. Now, Anthony and I were talking about some different ways to do that. And my mental image, uh, as you guys might know if you're familiar with any mnemonic techniques, it's all about the mental images. My mental image was Herod's or Hera's Casino, right? Or Herod's Hotel in Tel Aviv, which is across from where you're staying. Mm. Uh, and that's how I like to remember it. You had another really interesting one for rem remembering that it was King Herod. Right, I saw a herring taking a tab of acid. And Major Method tells me that T with B can be decoded as tab, tab. Right, so, right. So um, that right. gives me 19. Uh, exactly. And, uh, Although I saw dab. I just pictured all the way on the left there, I pictured a dab of paint. Very simple, right? Dab of paint, that which tells me 19. And then I actually, for BC, I thought of birth control. So a dab of paint sticking a birth control pill mm -hmm. uh, right on top there on the left-hand side. So we have the first station of our memory palace. Uh, for this historical event. Uh, and then we know the next thing we wanted to remember was uh, Herod died in 4, 4 BCE, and you had some thoughts on that one. Well, I mean, the first thing I would point out is that for me, it's just, I know that Herod was in that era, so I didn't need anything for that. Mm. But uh, because of 4, all I saw was the Michelin Man. Uh, because uh, 4, well, 14 actually for me is Tyre in Major Method. And uh, it's just because of the way it works, I can just do some mental gymnastics and go, okay, it wasn't 14, it was just 14. Right, but, right. you know, like, I'm just using, I'm using my available stuff right. and, and modifying it on the fly, met methodologically rather than systematically. Sure. And then the next thing we wanted to remember was 70 current era, which is when the Romans destroyed, as if you guys well, know. Well, actually, no. Well, the next thing we wanted to remember was that in 1967... Oh, um, uh, yeah. Well, if we're doing it as a timeline... Oh, oh, so you memorized it in a different order. I memorized okay, it in yeah. the order that we were discussing. Ah, fair. Also fair. <laughs> I just did it in a timeline. I imagine that this was a timeline, and each station was a, a major historical event. So I then went with 70, right? which we talked about is uh, KISS. Right. Just imagine KISS wearing a Roman soldier's helmet, one of the members of KISS with the black paint. Yeah. Which I think is a really clever way to remember it. Knowing also, as I do, and I think right. that KISS has an album called Destroyer. Right, so that's a really good example of using multiple synaptic connections yeah. to pre-existing knowledge. And then the last date we wanted to remember, which is an important date for me, is uh, 1967, Six Day War, which my father uh, fought in, although not here. And that's when uh, the Israelis liberated the city of Jerusalem. Political thing to talk about, I know. But uh, that one's really interesting for me because... You made a really good point. Why remember 19 if I already know that it's 19, 19th century? Just remember S, S, H, and K. So I pictured Shaq in an Israeli commando uniform just marching through the gates here. And the first thing that he gets, because the gate we came in was actually from there, the first thing that he gets is the rightmost 
station on our memory palace. So right there I have Shaq, big Shaq in an Israeli commando uniform. So really kind of a quick video to show you guys how you can just go through something like a museum or go through something like a historic site uh, such as Jerusalem and you can create memory palace stations as you go along and then what's really beautiful about that is you can go through your family videos and pictures when you get home yeah. and do that all important spaced repetition that we all know is so key for memory techniques so right. that's just a thought we wanted to share with you guys as we enjoy kind of our trip and vacation and uh, thank you guys for tuning in and I'm going to add something because we're not going to talk about it right now to get this video done with, but you should really be subscribing to our stuff because there's stuff Absolutely. like exactly how we're going to rehearse this over the next Absolutely. little while in order to get it into long-term memory. And also, I've been compounding some of the Hebrew phrases and yep. words that I've been using on top of these palaces, even though I have them in other palaces, Amazing. because this information reminds me of those words. So I'm just like, uh, what do you call it? Double your pleasure, double your fun <laughs> kind Amazing. of thing. Uh, so Amazing. make sure you're subscribed to all our stuff. Yeah. Your site? My site, becomeasuperlearner.com, but just hit the subscribe button below. We're going to be doing a lot more videos like this, as Anthony said. Like and your stuff, magneticmemorymethod.com. So thanks for Amazing. watching. hope you enjoyed this as much as we enjoyed making it for you. Take care, guys. Ciao, ciao.